So I have 13.1 volts in this battery. As you can see, a wire's coming in here. I have a switch that I can turn it off because when I turn on my self-running generator, I have to flip that switch back so it doesn't throw solar power into the battery. I blew out the bridge rectifier and the left alternator. I still have to replace that. But outside I just put, let's see here. Outside I put two solar panels on the jungle gym. I'm gonna eventually change it out to a 290. Uh, I got two on the other side. I only need one to run the office battery. And uh, this is putting out 150 watts. So yeah, it keeps the battery charged up. I had to do that for when I didn't run the machine, the battery would go flat. So I needed a solar panel to kickstart it. What, I, what else I've done is I have an extension cord on top of the 5,000 watt Harbor Freight Inverter. It goes down along the wall, along this wall, and comes up to this plug. So what I did is I made a charging station to where when I have the charger into the top plug, it comes from the house. And when I have the charger in the bottom plug, it comes from the inverter. The reason I set it up this way is that uh, I could run the machine, charge the battery up real quick, charge my car, in the event of an outage, plus I could put more circuits, more circuits on the uh, inverter if, in case of a power, power outage, and I can run the machine to charge the battery, and then I can run the house, and I can run the machine, turn it on, turn it off. As you can see, there's two plugs uh, that I made up. That plug goes behind the refrigerator, I got it all snug up against the wall. Runs down here, comes into the wall. So I have a choice now I can plug into my little setup over there, or I can plug into the wall, depending on the situation. And what I usually do is when I get 13.1, 13.2 volts, I put it on the bottom plug and use all the power out of the battery first. Uh, it takes 2.71 kilowatts to charge the Prius up. So now <clears throat> I can get about two kilowatts out of the, the battery just from the sun feeding it. And in case I need more power, I can run a self uh, generating machine. But what I did is I changed the, I tried to, I tried to replace the stator in the right alternator that I built, but uh, it wasn't putting out but 10 volts, 8 or 10 volts. So what I did is I took seven magnets from the rotor in the left alternator and then I made a seven magnet rotor for each one. And when I was running it off the house power, as you can see it's plugged into the house now, uh, it was making 110 volts on the right alternator and the left alternator was making about 130. So there's plenty of juice um, to set an off-grid system up. I tried it with my uh, Sunny Boy inverter, but it just didn't work. It wasn't seeing it for some reason. I guess it has to be over 150 volts DC to feed the inverter on the second string. So now I've decided to run it as an off-grid system that way, <clears throat> I got power when the power goes out, and I can uh, eventually I'm going to set up um, a transfer switch, and I'm going to do key circuits off of hopefully two more batteries. I'm looking to get a couple of Doom Flume 314 amp hour batteries tied together in 12 volts so I can run this 12 volt inverter. 
but this is the plan now. Occasionally I have to jump start the 140 amp hour battery with uh, an electric charger, but I haven't had to use it since the sun's been out most every day now. So here's the game plan for how to use it. Use it off grid, uh, save it for when I need it. Also charge the car for free. If you figure three kilowatts times 30 days, we charge it every day. That's that's about 80, 90 kilowatts that I don't have to pay for. And that's why I'm setting it up this way. Plus I already have the equipment. Thanks for listening. I hope you've learned something about how to make your own power and still consistently tie it Save, save on your grid power, not to mention I already have eight panels going through this inverter. Being as I'm retired, I really need to be able to save on my power bill because it gets expensive and I'm on fixed income. Thanks for listening. Have a good day.